everybody, this is Couch with Overpowered Tech, and today I am bringing you an informational video about Modern Warfare 3 campaign and touch of multiplayer as well. Anyways, today Kotaku, a gaming website, released tons, and I mean tons, of information about Modern Warfare 3. Mainly about the campaign, that is, but keep in mind that a lot of Kotaku's information I take no credit for. <clears throat> anyway, here's the information. Modern Warfare 3 is going to come out November 8th, 2011. Kotaku has learned delivering with uh, mammoth battles that engulf a dozen cities around the world, including New York, Paris, and London. Multiplayer sources have shared details of the game, story, art, sounds, and game modes with Kotaku. Nothing that the game will reshape the landscape of Call of Duty's franchise. Bringing an impressive number of electric settings, deep multiplayer gaming, and a story that ties up nearly a loose, all loose ends from the Previous titles, including the final moments of a key figure in the story's history. So, while we haven't seen the game in action ourselves, as Overpowered Tech, we've got to see great lengths uh, to nail down as much a po as possible the veracity of our sources. We believe that the image, imagery and chief details are accurate. That does not mean things can't change before it releases. So don't think this is like dead on what I'm telling you guys. Um, but this appears to be a f rundown of where um, Infinity Ward, Sludgehammer Games, and Raven is on Modern Warfare 3 as they add the final... Polishing touches. Anyways, the game opens up uh, at the moments after the cliffhanger ending of Modern Warfare 2, with the U.S. struggling to, s to uh, save off, or to st yeah, save off a surprise Russian attack. The single-player campaign will ping-pong players around the world as they did in Modern Warfare 2 as they take on uh, multiple throwaway roles as a Russian Federal uh, Protective Service agent, a SAS operative tank gunner, and AC-130 gunner, as well as key characters from previous installments and new reoccurring characters. The game will feature about 15 missions kicking off the invasion of Manhattan by Russia, Russian forces, and wrapping up with a final encounter of Dubai. This campaign sounds pretty freaking amazing. <clears throat> anyway, the plot, as described, seems to be keeping the developer Infinity Ward's habit of delivering complex short sequences punctuated by lots of gunfire and scene changes. The game also has players take control of several vehicles returning gamers to the AC-130 gunship as a gunner and a plopping them down in a tank as part of the U.S. Armed Division. I missed the AC-130, so that's going to be pretty awesome. The single-player campaign, which appears to wrap up most of the unanswered questions and character fates of the first two Modern Warfare titles, also introduces new characters who appear to be uh, destined for future Modern Warfare games, especially two Delta Force operatives codenamed Frost and Sandman. Now on to the multiplayer. Multiplayer in this, in this game returned with a uh, chunky list of playable maps as well as two types of spec op modes, survival and mission. Activision, the series publisher, still hasn't officially unveiled any details about the game, though executives have said that new Call of Duty game 
and um, has was coming out this year. Last year's Call of Duty Black Ops, developed by Treyarch, sold more than 7 million copies in the first 24 hours, and within 6 weeks, six weeks reached 1 billion sales. This is the entire campaign portion of what Kotaku released. I will now read what they have said by about multiplayer. Packed with 15 levels in set locations around the world from Manhattan to the catacombs of Paris, Modern Warfare 3's new future campaign looks to be an experience that will top anything else before in, in a Call of Duty game. Uh, multiplayer 2 seems to be shaping up to be an experience packed with new maps, experiences, and ways to game. This game kind of sounds like it's going to be like Homefront, which isn't bad because Homefront's actually really fun. Sources tell Kotaku that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 will have as many as 20 multiplayer maps, though it's unclear if some will be cut before release or perhaps sold later as expansion maps. The game will also include a powerful mix of mission-based and survival spec-op modes. While the mission-based levels will be designed like the ones in the popular Modern Warfare 2, we're told the survival maps will have players fighting until they overcome an increasingly difficult wave of enemies. Kind of like zombies. That's what it sounds like to me. While we haven't seen the game in action ourselves, we believe that the imagery is accurate, that that doesn't mean things can't be changed before the release date. Like I said earlier, don't be bummed if any of this has been cut out, if what I've been telling you. This is just what we've got from Kotaku. Okay, so now I'm going to name all the maps, the multiplayer maps that are going to be in the game. So there's 15 of them, and here they are. Uh, Alpha, Alps, Bootleg, Bravo, Brooklyn, Carbon, Coast, Dome, Exchange, Hardhat, Interchange, Lambeth, Mira, Mogadushio. Sounds really Japanese to me. Uh, Paris, Plaza 2, Radar, Sea Town, Underground, and Village. A lot of these maps sound pretty, pretty good. Pretty good just by the name. Um, so yeah, the I th I think this game's gonna be pretty good when it comes out. It comes out 14 days before my birthday, so that's pretty sweet. Probably gonna get that for my birthday. Um, Spec Ops mode maps. These. Um, aren't as many. There is about um, 11, maybe 12. Anyway, so f f mode 1, survival, there's only 5. And those are carbon, dome, radar, sea town, and village. Um, a lot of them are just from the multiplayer. And then mode 2, mission, there's civilian rescue, flood the market, invincible threat, little bros out of Africa, No Fly Zone, and Wingman. <clears throat> those don't really sound like maps, those just kind of sound like, you know, missions. But whatever, you know, still sounds pretty cool. Um, anyways, that's all Kotaku released about Modern Warfare 3. I hope this video taught you a few things about Modern Warfare 3 and what we know of it so far. Again, I take no credit for what has been said in this video. This is all Kotaku. It's a website, you know. Um, we will leave a link to Kutako's website in the description. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and ask any questions in the comments if you need any more information about Modern Warfare 3. Stay tuned to OPT for more information as it comes and much, much more. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.